hint, don't make people hate you. You wake up feeling groggy in the morning light. You wake up at the butt crack of noon to hear the clamor of gossip in the bar downstairs. That's enough to get you out of bed quickly. Morning, sweets. What's the noise today? Seems your whole family is on the up. Not enough that Vix Molly is now one of the briniest of the Hessians. But Thoreau's on the market. He just announced it. Ha! Thoreau? Can't stand sharing a basket, let alone a whole household. Sides, our folks never approved of him for the betrothal contract, and Vix always said he was too stupid to branch the dynasty. Must have changed his tune because Vix is the sponsor. You know, maybe your siblings needed a bit of convincing to get on board with the whole down disown Smith idea. Maybe we could use this to get back into the game. Ah, uh, if you're suggesting I marry my own brother... What? No. But Thoreau's about as bright as a lumen stain. We put forward a candidate for marriage and you get a way in. Blackmail, manipulation, or just simple assassination with his spouse inheriting his place at the table. I, I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Maybe I was out of line to say anything. No, I'm listening. But you got someone in mind? Because most of the social climbers in the foam are too ambitious to wedge themselves under my thumb so easy. Well, in fact, I know a couple of folks. Uh, Denicus or Hesh, uh, maybe even Adawet. Hmm. Let's find out about Denicus. A con artist, plain and simple. Uh, doesn't seem like a good start. Uh, uh, but word his he's in town. Uh, you offer the shills or even influence to work an even bigger scam and Denicus will listen. Throws a charmer. If the face ain't pretty, he'll outmaneuver him. Oh, Denicus is pretty all right. I mean, uh, so I've heard from other people who are not me. Or what about this one? Uh, and Wanty. Probably because she's only the biggest celebrity on this side of the salt. She's got influence and popularity, but no blood dynasty to call her own. Uh, so she might want to join the Banquads, huh? And if not, well, at least you can get an autograph. Okay. Right, I'll go talk to these poor schlubs. Marrying Thoreau, what a nightmare. All right. We are well hated. Uh... I want to start with the the celebrity one. I expect it's going to be like a really hard negotiation. Uh, hey, are you, uh, what's her name? Adewante? And Wantet? I'll get it someday. Uh, you looking to get hitched to a noble, is that right? If that's a proposal, honey, you'll need to rewind the clock and try again. At least... Uh, at the very least, my shoes demand respect, even if my face doesn't. You want respect? You're going to need a name to command it. How would you like to be Banquad? My brother Thoreau is on the market. I wouldn't use the word strapping, but I would say available. He's an available young man. Thoreau's brother, brother something tells me you're not the Hessian. So, are you the disowned one? What would a loose thread like you be doing representing your brother? You're really up on your gossip columns, huh? I'm already in them, so why not? But let's see if I can guess your intentions. You've been dis disinherited, so you need someone in the family to try to get you back in. Or, or is it not that? Is it just petty revenge you're after? Why not both? Getting a little parched. Uh, why not both indeed? Uh, Thoreau is no notorious in the gossip columns, the entrepreneurial playboy. His siblings hate him, but he keeps his money coming in. I think I might be very interested, you sweet thing. Let's discuss. Uh, I picked this one initially. Let's go for it. Well, hey, sounds like you're smart enough to bring on board, huh? Let's... Say, let's go for it, sis. Hold on, it's not that simple. Since we can't formalize this contract, I need a show of good faith. Do a little favor for me, and I'll see what your intentions are. Uh, see that your intentions are dedicated. Uh, there's always got to be a thing. Always. 
Now you just caught me in the middle of a completely of completely destroying my rival's life. I've committed to your cause against your brother, of course, and I intend to see that see to that first. But I but it would be the sweetest wedding uh present to me if you could follow up. What kind of destruction are we talking here? Like a hit? I'm not the best at hits, more of an open brawler really. No, no, this is a standard sabotage. You see, my, ne my Nemesary Clony has trade channels open with both Barons and the Hessian simultaneously. She has built a house of cards, and I simply can't resist giving it a good knock. Got something in mind? The cult doesn't know about Clony's double dipping, and will surely be very upset when they find out. Meanwhile, I know the Barons are only interested in training with Clony uh, because of her cult connections. Huh. Seems like all it needs is a little nudge, yeah? Precisely. A teensy-weensy little nudge. Practically a puff of air. Well, I'm full of air, at least. Quite. Now, there isn't much more, much point to the debacle unless it's done entirely in, in public. So I've made reservations for two tables at a popular bistro here in the Pearl. Invite Clawney's contractor for lunch and Clawney too, of course. Got it. All right. Delicate negotiations. Convinced Alta that Clawney needs to talk to them. Okay, and then convince them that they need to talk to them. Okay. Effie really doesn't like me. Let's see what you're selling. Uh, despite her name, Tact has none. Pay Tact to help me. Delicate negotiations. Okay, so... We might need the help. I'm going to spend the money on it. Okay. Alt is the type who thinks the sky itself is proof of her faith, because it hasn't fallen down yet. Alta nods in an acknowledgement in your presence. I'm not going to collect a tithe. Uh, tell her about the meeting. Excuse me, your brininess. I'm representative of Clawney. She was wondering if you had time to discuss some trades. Excuse me. Excuse you, indeed. Clawney knows very well that I summon her at my convenience, not the other way around. Why should I acquiesce to this audacity? Convince her. Ooh, Effie helping is going to stink. Uh, oh, Clawney completely understands, and that is a massive disrespect. That's why she made it worth your while. Okay, lots of action here. Uh, target an opponent's argument each turn for three to seven damage. Dang. So much badness going on here. Um, <laughs> oh, really? That was a bad roll. Dismiss a random enemy intent. Okay. Hmm. I think we're in trouble here. We can defend ourselves for... Okay. That did a whole lot of nothing there. Um, I mean, I can redirect everything, but then Wide Bewilder is not going to do us much good. Um, we're, yeah, we're in trouble here, I think. Okay, that helps out a bit. We need some AoE in a big way here. Um... We have the composure, so...
I'm thinking about just burning everything. Um, okay, that's that's important that we got that because now we can blow that up. Um, this is the next one that needs to go. Um, just gonna let all that stuff go and see if that. That really is a bad RNG there. Um, yeah, it's amazing how killing someone that you weren't supposed to kill can really mess with things. Um, can't really make this destroy any arguments, so we're not going to benefit too greatly from that. Um, I think we need to get rid of this. It's doing too much damage. Um, okay, if this rolls high. Nice. We can use this to, for free, do that. Um, and then we can play that and hope that we... That was just a slap in the face right there. Um... <laughs> We're not making any progress here. Can't play the Renown because we don't have any. Um, hmm. Hey, Cyber. Yeah, it's, this is a. Uh, I don't think this is going to be a happy ending for Smith uh, on this one, though. Um, I accidentally killed someone I shouldn't have killed, and I have a lot of people who hate me right now, um, and for very little benefit. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're fatigued, but we're not taking too much damage here. I mean, that, that may be what it comes down to, but there's four of them. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I still have Renown, so that's not going to do me any good. Um, I'm going to... So this is when destroyed, restore to resolve for every opponent argument. So let's get rid of that one. And then... Okay, what else what else can we do here? No, I don't want to draw. I don't want to draw and discard cards right now. Those networks are doing good work for us, but that's about it. She's not doing any damage anymore. Um So we can do that. We get it back. We get it back. Okay. At some point, she's going to start doing damage again. Yeah, so that's so that's what I've noticed. Uh, now, which one is doing... But now, which one is doing the seven right now? And of course I drew no, uh... Hmm. Maybe I'll get lucky on... Okay, that got me a little bit of where we needed to go. Um... Hmm. All right, let's. I'm gonna try and burn her down a little bit. I think. Uh, okay, we got a lot of draw, if nothing else. Um, my word. Of course, the the low draw. 
I don't think we have any zero cost cards, so drawing at the end of our turn is not that useful. Um, uh, she shielded this turn, so I think we do this. Should have played on yielding instead. That other one wasn't a guaranteed hit. Um, things just feel a little broken right now. Um, <laughs> the fact that that they're not doing anything. So consistently. All right. I guess we, we took out their, their main arguments, and then we kind of crippled them, I guess, is what happened. Uh, all right. Well, we're, we're fatigued, so there's no point in playing other cards. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Destroy all friendly arguments and create new copies of them. I don't understand what that does. Why does this one say... You have passed this card up four times. Choose it now and gain 15 shells. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, spend two renown, apply five composure. It's interesting. Seven composure, spend one renown. These are. There's arguments that have effects when they're destroyed. God. Oh, yeah, wait. Actually, I have one of those. I have the I have the weird sack thing, the grizzly trophy. Oh yeah. Let's take let's try turnabout. All right, we'll give it a go. Oh, at the end of 3 turns not when it dies. Dang. I was not fast enough. Uh let's see. Okay, so Gain two renown, apply four composure to it, or gain three renown. I like defending that, I think. Uh, and then... I think we have a decent amount of renown, so I think we can keep going for that. Uh, an exclusive reservation at the Bistro Rentori awaits you for your travels. Hmm, foreign food it is. I'm not a fan, but I understand that the restaurant is extremely exclusive. Tell Cloney I will come along shortly at my leisure, of course. I don't want to do that negotiation again for money. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of uh, ambushes, is what the game told me, since everybody hates me. All right, Vectorini. Uh, once had a soft spot for the laborers until he lost an entire salvage to Sticky Fingers. Uh, didn't think my dad would involve a grifter in this dealing. Tell him about the meeting. I uh, hope and haven't kept you waiting. Clawney sent me to arrange the meeting so soon, but we just met yesterday. And uh, and who are you anyways? Convince him to come along. Clawney sent me because she's being watched by the cult. Of course. All right, yeah. So getting rid of this whispered rumors is important, is what I have learned. Um... So we can do this because they're all already pointed at us. Um, we would have to get very... We have to get very lucky with rolls for this to work. We'll give it a go. Alright, it's not going to happen. So... Let's get some renown rolling, I guess. Um... Yeah, we needed two high rolls for that to happen. Card stolen brag. Card stolen bully. Okay. One of those I don't care too much about. Um, we have the renown, so we start out with this. Okay, now we need to... So this doesn't... Renown doesn't do anything when it is created. This is, when destroyed, deal one damage to your core argument per stack of Renown. Oh, so Turnabout is really bad with Renown. Right? Is that, am I reading that correctly? Yes. 
Wait, okay, so when destroyed, so okay, so this, so when I play turnabout, destroy a friendly argument, apply composure equal to its maximum resolve to all friendly arguments. Yeah, so if I played this on renown, I would take damage. I would take, because it says when destroyed, deal one damage to your core argument per stack of renown. So I have one stack of renown, so I would take one core damage to my argument while gaining the composure, right? Maybe I'm misunderstanding, but that's... You're right, of course. Yeah, yeah. Alright, they're stealing all my cards. Um, let's see. I'll draw a card and discard a card, I think. I'm going to let Nepotism go. Right, yeah, that makes sense. I, I think I just misunderstood the, the function um, here. Let's see. Who's fighting this? It's those two. I don't think I can... I think I can afford to, to do one of these. Get back a Brag and a Bully. When destroyed, Victorian loses half of their resolve. The bounty lasts one more turn. Ooh, so let's not do that quite yet. Okay, so we get our composure. Let's see, and I think... I think that we do that just to be safe. Alright, they stole Fall Guy and Unyielding. But that's going to explode this turn and do massive damage to everything. It, it could be. I, I don't know that I've seen them yet. This is my first. Uh, this is my first run as uh, as Smith. Okay, we get the defense up. We're still blowing everything up, so that's good. Uh, We can up our name drop here. Okay, we can't play Incredulous because... Alright. We got it. Gained, okay, so all out, I looked at... Uh, I don't... I think the defenseless is too much. Uh, apply three composure to a random friendly argument. Forces all intents. We already have one fall guy. Ad hominem. Gain at the end of your turn. Spend one renown and apply two composure to all of your arguments. I'll, I'll give that a try. We have decent renown generation. Uh, I'll do that. So it doesn't show up in the deck anymore. Five damage is pretty good. All I'm allowed to tell you is that she wants to meet in the bistro. That place is pretty crowded. Klani must be worried about the cult retribution. I wonder if she learns something about breaching. Collect the tithe. I wonder, are we going to do well on that fight again? Was that close? Yeah, let's collect the tithe. We need the money. Pay up for Ash. All right. Hold on. Can we do better than? We need to. We need to get to three renown to get a full block off. So we can do. This a name drop. And that should give us six, which will probably defend us.
Unless we get really unlucky with the roll. Okay, that was... That was not bad. Stole famous brag and brag. Wait, what did you steal? Okay. Okay, so we do this, which gains us four resolve there, which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to definitely kill that. Uh, we'll do it with the with this. Well, that's pretty... This is probably going to get that. Um, can't play that. Incredulous is hard to play. Took Renounce and Ransack. Hmm, do we have... Even Footing will probably cover us. Yeah, that covers us. Okay, good stuff. Um... I think this just blows him up. Nice. With all this draw, that uh, that can be quite the wombo combo. Gain damage spills over to this argument before your core argument. So this is a new argument that we would be getting. Remove all composure from all friendly arguments. Apply that much composure to your target. I think fixate is awesome here because we have a lot of wide... A lot of wide things and we seem to be taking some bursty damage. Um, thank you for the money. Okay, now we have to, we have to convince Coloni. Uh, Colony isn't hard to find because her home is almost as ostentation as, as ostentatious as uh, Andwante's. You weren't quite expecting to see she already has company, though. Uh, please, can we talk about this? I said, I said, hand it over, over what you owe us. Uh, waste more of my time, and I'm going to start breaking things. Hey, who the hell are you, and what are you doing here? This is uh, my business partner. You better get out before he gets angry. You don't want to see him when he's angry. This grifter? Ha! I'm going to kill him in front of you and make a point of it. Uh, you're neutral to me now. We could fight. I feel like if we fight... It doesn't say they're going to dislike us, so... let's. Uh, we haven't done much combat, so let's do a little bit of combat. Okay, so, what's our plan here? Let's defend up. Oh, if your target has trauma or traumatized. Probably adrenaline in this case. Makes it more likely for rays to land and make something else free. Nice. Made drop kick free. What is what is our combat flourish? We haven't seen it yet. Uh, drink two, take one damage, gain moxie, apply three trauma. Flourish. Okay. And we hit nice and hard with it. Um, okay. Cool. Pinned. Play this card to return empty. Play this card to return empty bottle to your hand. Okay. I don't think I care much about uh, empty bottle. Oh, big hit coming in though. Is there anything I can do? Very little. Um, does this do anything for that? Apply three trauma. I might do it. Just, we're going to get some healing off of it. And I feel like sitting too long on your flourish is a mistake. He's 
doing more damage now? <laughs> I did something wrong there, for sure. Um, keep stacking the Moxie, I guess. And I'll do a little bit of defending. The, the ordering of the Moxie healing before the attacks come in is a little interesting. Um, I think we do Adrenaline here because this body blow I think is going to hit him quite hard. Yeah. Hmm. Might as well minimize the damage coming in. Yeah, so so it, it it that's something that I did not fully appreciate. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Um Let's see. This uh this brute's bat that I took, uh, I'm not I'm not so sure it was worth uh worth it. Ah, oh, I'm gonna accept surrender. Makeshift dagger, apply one wound, fifty percent chance to destroy this card, yeah. We're not gonna kill that guy. I've learned my lesson. We shouldn't be killing everybody. Add impair equal to the damage dealt by this card, cool. Get a little bit of resolve back. Freebie. Freebie should cost zero, I would like to say for the record. Uh, expend two empty bottles from your deck. This card costs zero. Threshold six, apply two impair. Let's get some bottle spending. Four damage guaranteed is pretty good.